Hi, in this quote unquote episode of Bush Maxims, I wanted to talk about um, something I like to call immediate uncertainty. Um, basically, the main idea of immediate uncertainty is it um, mostly applies to books, but it can also apply to movies, where at the very end or near the end of the book or movie, like, it just kind of, it, 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 it ends conclusively, but it leaves so many questions for you as the reader or watcher, and you, it just kind of, it just leaves this, like, immediate question in your mind of what's going to happen next, even though the author or the director has said, you know, okay, story's done. You're always wondering what's going to happen next and what's happening. Um, an example of this, a really famous example of this in literature, from my perspective, because it's like the only book I've read that has this really, is uh, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. Basically, spoiler alert, at the very end, if you haven't read it, um, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people have read it, at the very end, um, you know, after Rhett has left, Scarlet is just kind of crying on the stairs, and she's like, you know, there's tomorrow, and I'm gonna go get, Sc I'm gonna go get Rhett back, you know, tomorrow's another day, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get Rhett back, and then the book just ends, and you're like, okay, and, um, I read this article that, um, that says that Margaret Mitchell kind of intended for that, she's like, I don't want, you know, to put a deliberate answer to that question, she wanted it to be, like, the reader's interpretation of how it ends. Like, maybe she does go back and get read, or maybe she just doesn't. And so she wants, she wanted it to be open to interpretation. And so I think that that is a really great example of immediate uncertainty. Is basically, you know, where the story is tied up in an ending, but then you're always wondering where it goes after that like as soon as it ends you're like there's so many questions unanswered um i wrote this one short story i'll put a link to it in the description if you want to read it down there um where you know it's these two people um in a, rom in a romantic relationship and then they go through a rough patch and they have this conversation and um and she says, you know, I'll call you when I need you. And he's like, okay, okay, I understand. He's like, I like, I really want you back in my life. And she's like, yeah, you know, we'll think about it. But, you know, I need some time alone. And he's like, okay, okay, I understand. And, and then she pretty much just leaves. And it doesn't make sense because in the middle of the story, like during the story, she had said, I, um, I have no home to go to. So, you wonder, like, where does she go? She just walks out of their apartment. So, you know, she can't go back and stay with him. She's not going to go stay with her aunt. And you don't really know what's going to happen. And are, are they ever going to get back together? Is she ever going to call him? You know, you don't know these things. So, for immediate uncertainty, it's like right at the end. It, it ends in such a way that you don't know the turn of events that come after that. Like, the... The book seems to suggest, the book or movie seems to suggest a certain, um, you know, turn of events, and yet the book or movie just ends right before you can even be sure that that's gonna happen. So that's the idea behind immediate uncertainty. Um, if you know of any other great examples in literature or movies, please, um, please put them in the comments and, you know, explain how it fits with this. Alright, thanks. Bye. Peace.